Okay, we're back and I told you guys for my last Walmart haul to come check out my Dollar Tree haul that I've been meaning to do actually for longer than I just got back from not just doing this Walmart haul, but actually getting all this Walmart stuff in front of me. So, this is, all of the stuff I got is in here because they apparently don't give you plastic bags. And I'd like to thank you, Walmart, for giving me plastic bags. I think it's stupid that they don't do that. So, here's the stuff in here. So, ready? I'm just going to show what I just saw on camera. So, I got this. I actually needed one of these. I needed a notepad. And I was battling with getting... Um, what is he doing? My kitty. He's in the last video. You didn't know that. Um, I think he wants to get out, but... Um, yeah, I was in the store. I was battling with getting, uh, cause I was trying to be cheap and I didn't have very much money. So I was battling with getting this one. And then, um, there was one that was like kind of more of a magenta pink. And this pink is a little more closer to my mother-in-law. Um, just like a plushy ish pink. I think he wants to go out. So. But it's a super nice, super nice notepad. Look at that. It's got nice paper. I just needed a new one because, like, my mom is going to always stock me with these growing up. So. That's it, folks. Well, this looks easy to take off back here. Looks very easy to take off. Looks really nice. Just says no, no bad vibes on the front of it. There was another one that said, um... I have a bright future or like bright future and I think it's like have have a bright future I don't know and I battled with getting that one or this one um and I decided this year just to get <laughs> this one cereal that that's cool and it looks really cute just kind of like regular blue wording and then pretty pink wording and this is really interesting because you can kind of feel it it's nice and sensory when you get bored but this, this will go in my purse. Because I like to have purse notepads. You never know when you need it. You never know when you need some note paper. So there's that. From the Dollar Tree folks. Okay. And then. Um. I do a Christmas party every. I, I'm starting. I've started to do a Christmas party every year. And last year. Um, I did this theme. Oh, I hope nothing fell off of that. Oh, I'd be so mad if something happened to these. So, we all know how we're sucker for these gosh darn ornaments. There's mine. I had to go, go get this pattern. Because this is what my pattern was last year. And it was so funny because I just had my mom. Um, the cute little cranberries on the top. I'm going to cry because it's so cute. Um, the pretty, like, snow, like, stuff. I love it. Hopefully my man comes. With, I don't like Superman anymore. Um, <laughs> it smells so bad in this room. But, um, here's that. <laughs> my, um, theme. My theme for every year is this pattern. So, um, Yeah. I love that. My theme is going to be this. And I chose this one out of everything else. Just because it looks perfect. I like the bell. And I like everything. And then to follow up with all of that. I had to get like a certain number of these. I have these in like every other thing. But I just love like this pretty circle. It'll be nice to hang like on the place. I hope I hope everything works out. Gonna have to schedule it on a different day. What is that, you all? That's so weird. Is it just like a fake, like little cap? It's so weird. On and off, but it's for like a light inside or something. Ugh, smells like sin in this house. 
Um, I don't know, but there's like a cute little thing on top and it says, y'all see that? It says on and off. That's the weirdest thing, no? I don't know if y'all see that. Y'all see that? Ready and Flood. Are you able to watch this video, girl? Because what is that on top of there? I think she knows what I'm talking about. I think... After trying to show you guys that, because I didn't understand what that was about. But, um... <laughs> I think Dollar Tree is definitely stepping in table Because this looks really nice. I like this little, like, cute little fake pine cone and green berries and, like, the little... The little pines and stuff. It's really adorable. So this is cute. This will just be like hanging on the gazebo. Lord, let me let me do this party. Oh. See, I knew something fell off. This fell off of my bell. I think. Or my, you know, silhouette of a bell. I think this is supposed to go... Oh, Jesus. What a moment in life when you need some love and nobody's there to love you. What the fuck is going on? I think it's supposed to look like that. Yeah, I think that's how I purchased it. And it's got like the white, like there's some snow on it or something. <sighs> Solid in the bag. So anyways, here's one of them. Here's a second, the second one and then I just got two more. And then, that's it. Two more. And I'm so thankful that they're not messed with at all. Like, thank you, Jesus. This just means that they've stepped up their game and their quality. Except for the bell silhouette. That's about it. I would have decoration. Um, this is what it looks like. It's really beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Um, I love them. So, it'll work great for my Christmas party. So. Ah! If it's from my church. <sighs> oh, Lord. If you're from my church and you've seen that. And you've seen these decorations. Maybe it's a hint from God. Like, that's what the theme is. So, like, try to dress the theme. Okay, people? <laughs> I think I might try to dress the theme, too. I just have to get some money soon and then. Probably go into buy mart and get like a sweater or something. Hey, oh, an interesting story I'll tell real quick. If you're from my church and you're wondering why well, last year, a Sunday after like December, Sunday after sometime in last December, um, I did a party after church with my mom, just my mom, and um, and, um, but she, my mom usually doesn't like, like other people. So I just, it was just me and her. I was, <laughs> it was so funny. I was trying to make, um, I was trying to make, I was trying, <laughs> I can't remember what I'm trying to say. I was trying to make, um, I, that's too far gone. But anyways, last year I did the party with my mom. And it was so funny because I don't know if anyone remembers, but you guys started wearing um this pattern, this this specific pattern to church. It's the red and then the black checkers. Everybody, just about every single person, like ninety percent of people, showed up at church with that pattern on. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Because I did it one Sunday, and then the next Sunday, everyone showed up at church wearing that exact same color. So I was like, oh, that's really cool. It'll be much funner than last year because I like, <laughs> I was like really dull, I'll admit. I just had the sign. I didn't really know how to work the sign. My situation was all thrown off. It was, it was just hilarious and a whole lot of, of fun. But, um, thanks for watching and there's my story. <laughs> But yeah, it was so fun. I don't know if people were at church remember that, but if you're at church and if you're from my church and you are watching this video, Foothills Malala, if you're watching this video and you're wondering why you all showed up in this exact pattern, <laughs> the red and the black triggers, if you're wondering why y'all showed up in that, like a Sunday closer to dis to closer to 
closer to Christmas, then that's why. Um, <laughs> because I had a party with my mom before that, and I was really hoping to have all of you guys come, but I might try to invite a lot of you people to my party. And by the way, I don't care if you are scared that you might have stupid COVID, because I don't trust the devil. I mean, you're, not, you're supposed to trust in God, not the devil, so thanks, Pastor Dale, for teaching us that. You're very much like Nick Wilde, okay? From... <laughs> From the W. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Church. Yeah, he's definitely Nick Wild. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.